Now, quick tip. If you don't want the checkerboard showing the transparency, like the alpha of what's in your image, you can click the new layer button down here, the empty page icon. It'll add a new layer above whatever layer you have selected. So I could pick a color. I will choose bright blue and fill it in. I could fill it in by going edit fill and then choose my foreground color. Or I could hit Alt or Option while clicking the backspace key, and that will fill it in with the foreground color. If I hit Command or Control, it'll fill it in with the background color. So Alt, and op Alt or Option plus backspace is the foreground color to fill in a layer or selection. Command, Control, or backspace will use the background color. I then just move that layer beneath my selection. And now you can see how you're affecting your image. So I'm going to go back to a brush. And I'm going to turn off caps lock so I can see the size of my brush. And I'm going to want to be on my layer for the buildings with the mask selected. And you can see better how you're affecting your selection. And remember, when you're making your selections, pay close attention to your edges and whether they need to be hard or soft, how much you want to feather, or soften it through your brush.